Hey guys, Gary G back again for another video and today I am super, super excited. I've been waiting for this moment for maybe a year and this item that I got for you right now, it just seemed unattainable because of the price, but I was finally able to get it. Today, I wanna to show you the unboxing experience. Oh! So, you might have heard of this before. I found out about this from Joel and Sal of Details. And it is a piece of machinery that I've been wanting to get for a while. It is a very premium uh, piece of equipment. It costs about a thousand bucks. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Yes. What we are talking about today is a Chief Steamer 100. I've been waiting for this thing for so long. Tired of messing around with my McCulloch unit, having to buy one every couple of months. And now, Oh man, here it is, here it is. All right, so I wanna bring you guys in a little closer so you can get an idea of what we're working with here. Yes, this is the Chief Steamer, this is the 100. Um, the reason that I got this one over the 75 is because it is refillable, meaning that when this is running low, you can fill this up with water and you don't have to turn off the unit. So that's a huge, huge time saver advantage. Power button adjusting the steam. This is where your wand is going to attach here. Let me go ahead and show you all the attachments and accessories that came with the unit. Okay, here's your connector here. I believe they said it was 12 feet. Very nice, feels like very high quality plastic and rubber pieces here. We got this floor piece. This also allows you to put a microfiber bonnet over the top. This is one with like a squeegee attachment for floors. We got a couple of extensions. If you wanna do the floor, they give you one microfiber bonnet. And the main piece that I'm gonna be using, wow, this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> this is a really nice triangle head attachment again, spring loaded so you can put your microfiber bonnet on there. And then we get a whole bag of accessories, which we'll look at right now. Okay, so here's the main accessory bag. This is obviously what we're gonna be using for detailing the most these are your heads this one has the three different tips so it spreads out the steam more evenly this is an angle attachment for the handle for when you're using a triangle steamer this one has a single hole so you get a little bit more focused pressure some tools and o-rings these are the horsehair brushes the nylon brushes all of these have their smaller counterparts right here this one is if you want to use uh, steam to scrape something these are like metal brushes those are pretty rough right there and there we go okay so on the back here this is the tank i was talking about that is refillable i believe it's 64 ounces one thing i like about this is it literally tells you how much you should put in there and you don't ever overfill it. I've overfilled my McCulloch and it won't work until you empty out some water. So what I like about this is you fill it up, it's full, it's ready to go. Another good thing is that, like I said, once this starts to get lower, you can just take the cap off and fill it back up and you don't have to worry about depressurizing the machine, which is huge. Also your water filters on the outside so when this gets dirty, you can see it. So you know to replace it so you don't get any premature failure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the water tank, I'm gonna plug it in, and I'm gonna let it get up to steam. You know, one thing I wanted to point out while I was filling this up with water is, unlike other steamers, this one actually says to use tap water, uh, not to use distilled water. All the other steamers that I've had, my McCulloch, that piece of garbage right there, says that you need to use um, distilled water because there's no way to drain out the calcium. But watching a video on the Chief Steamer channel, I believe he says, somewhere on the bottom here so i have to look at right there that plate i think you can actually drain out the calcium deposits which is really cool so i'm just using this little coffee mug to fill it up this is the fourth one so i'm really thinking it's about 64 ounces okay i don't know if you can see that but this is rather impressive it got all the way up to about Looks like it's running at about 130 PSI right now, even though it's rated at 110. But this literally took me like five minutes, which is amazing. I'm really impressed so far. So you got your power and your steam. Plug it right in until it clicks. Boom. And we're going 
to take the wand here. We're going to attach this right here. Push the button. This feels extremely high quality. I'm really happy with it. So here's the button. Let's see if we can purge it. Okay, my bad, I had this down on the wrong side. I thought, and I didn't even look at it like a dummy. I had it all the way up thinking it was highest pressure. That's all the way down. Check this out. Wow, that is insane. The pressure is also going up really quickly back to homeostasis, if you will. Let's get up close and personal here. This feels amazing in the hand right so these little attachments what i really like is they just slip over the top which that's really cool there's a groove and an arrow right there and i like that they just slip over the top that's really cool what i thought would be kind of fun is this is all spray paint that's been on here a couple of years and i was kind of messing around with it and this thing is handling it pretty good so i want to show it to you so rest assured if you get some paint on something uh, I'm not sure this would be a good idea to use the steamer on like car paint if someone was to uh, spray paint your uh, uh, car or anything because this is, if I remember correctly, this is latex based paint. But I just want to show you what we can do with this. Pretty awesome that that thing is literally ripping this paint off. Obviously it's on plastic so it's not sticking very hard. But I'm just saying, I've tried to scrape this off with a few different tools and this is making easy work of it. So why don't we try the nylon brush? That would be an uh, interesting little test. I'm gonna put the little bad boy on there. Find the spot, push it on. Let's try it. And obviously that is the way to do it. Okay, so that is my first impressions of the Chief Steamer 100. Uh, this thing is not cheap. This thing is $1,050, okay, and that's on sale. Um, so it's definitely not cheap, but these things are serviceable. These things have lifetime warranties. This is, it's an industrial unit, okay? The McCulloughs are literally made for around the house stuff, and detailers just happen to uh, take it on, right? So it's not what it's meant for. This is an industrial unit for professionals. Another thing I want to point out really quickly is this is how much water it used from about right here to right here. It's about an inch and a half for all that steaming that I did right there. All right, anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming back to another video. Like I said, I'm extremely excited. This is just, this is the coolest thing, man. I'm so excited to use this. I'm just begging somebody to call me for a full detail to get paid, of course, but obviously to use this machine. So anyways, Thank you guys for coming back to another video. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check the website out. Um, I'll also put a link to the uh, YouTube channel for Chief Steamer so you can get an idea of what all the units do. Uh, thank you again, Joel, for putting me onto this. Thank you for hounding me to, uh, uh, to get on this, and I'm very excited that I did it. You guys, have a great day. I appreciate you guys all. I'm a Stay Sick fam. Peace. Stay slick. Let's get it.